Are you ready to see the ultimate in cutting-edge technology and precision engineering? Join us as we take you on an exclusive tour of Porsche's multi-billion dollar production line. From the assembly of the engine to the final paint job, we'll take you behind the scenes and give you a glimpse of the magic that happens at Porsche. Get ready to be amazed as we unveil the inner workings of one of the world's most iconic sports car manufacturers. This is one tour you won't want to miss, so sit back, relax, and dive into the world of Porsche's production line. Today, Porsche Cars North America Incorporated PCNA revealed a new multi-million dollar investment to expand its Georgia operations and North American headquarters. The new 33-acre development is situated next to the current 27-acre headquarters in the northeastern corner of Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Hennessy Porsche North Atlanta and Porsche Atlanta Perimeter will jointly develop, own and operate a separate Porsche service center as the first phase of the development, which will begin construction this month. PCNA will invest in a new Porsche Classic factory restoration facility and a track extension for the Porsche Experience Center Atlanta over the course of the following three years. Using Koku robots, this section begins with the assembly of the automobile body. Body painting comes next and the assembly line's quality check comes after that. The second section focuses on how the Porsche Panamera and Porsche Cayenne are made at a plant in Leipzig, Germany. The new Porsche 918 Spyder's assembly produced a third component. The fourth part, which depicts all the processes involved in making the Porsche 911 Turbo, is the longest and includes the front bonnet, the wheels, the interior trim, the seats, the saddlers, and the luggage current situation. According to Kel Gruner, the current appointed president and CEO of Porsche, Porsche is dedicated to the United States and our American city of Atlanta. We believe Atlanta. By expanding the campus to provide speedier service in a special location near the busiest airport in the world, they have a fantastic chance to continue improving the customer experience. The Porsche Experience Center Atlanta, which has welcomed over 270,000 guests since opening in 2015, also begins a long-term expansion with this. They said, we are happy to announce this next stage of development that paves the way for more economic activity in the area in conjunction with our two Atlanta dealers who will run the service center. The final manufacturing step and assembly of the individual Porsche 911 parts together is where she works, sewing seats inside the vehicle. As a result, the first finished Porsche 911 rolled off the assembly line in the incomplete final assembly hall back in 2018. In the first year of sales 2020, Porsche shipped more than 20,000 vehicles, accounting for 7.4% of the company's total volume. So joining the 911 Spider, Porsche, Porsche Cayenne, and Panamera in Porsche's Six model lineup, Porsche's plant has the capacity to build 20,000 vehicles a year. Porsche is investing more than $1 billion to market its first electric sports car, over $800 million of which will go toward a brand new facility. Procedure Axles, battery packs, and e motor battery packs are transported by the conveyor to the final assembly hole. All of the car's components will then be painted before the entire Porsche body is submerged in an anti corrosion solution. The robotic hand paints and entire automobile. The worker just manages all the computer systems in this task, which is totally automated. The paint coating on the car is now of the greatest quality thanks to this technology. The quality of the cover's premium paint finish is then inspected by Porsche experts. It is crucial that this process be finished for this automaker. In this final stage of production, the interior is placed into the body while the doors are removed to be finished on a different line, combining industrial assembly and manufacture. The assembled automobile is transported to a new mode of transportation after the inside has been installed. Up until this point, a lifting station has been utilized, however, an overhead rotating unit is subsequently used in its place. This is utilized to provide fitters with ergonomic working conditions when installing brakes in gasoline tanks. The automobile finally passes through the external line and then stops at another raising station, this time with changeable height to promote ergonomic functioning. The installation of the windscreen, rear glass, primary headlamps, and seats island is then handled by the exterior line. The renowned Porsche logo is also placed there and the doors are reinstalled. 
The Porsche is produced in this location, after which the wheels were fastened, a quality control test drive was conducted, and other finishing touches were applied before the Porsche was delivered to the showroom. As you can see, a lot of work is done by hand in the Porsche automobile plant, which is one of the main causes of the higher price of Porsche vehicles. Hybrid vehicles, axles, battery packs, and e-motor battery packs are transported by the conveyor to the final assembly hole. All of the car's components will then be painted before the entire Porsche body is submerged in an anti-corrosion solution. The robotic hand paints and entire automobile. The worker just manages all the computer systems in this task, which is totally automated. The paint coating on the car is now of the greatest quality thanks to this technology. The quality of the cover's premium paint finish is then inspected by Porsche experts. It is crucial that this process be finished for this automaker. Our employees have years of experience in dealing with alternative drive types. They can't wait to start working on electric vehicles in addition to our hybrid models, says Gerd Rupp. We think it's important to involve the entire workforce in the upcoming change, so we have already initiated the qualification measures for the purely electric Macan. Model history Throughout the years, Porsche has produced numerous iconic models. Here are four of the best. 1948 Porsche 356 As the very first Porsche model, the 1948 Porsche 365 is a significant model in Porsche's history. The 1952 Porsche 550 Spider was a popular car among drivers because of its lightweight construction and excellent balance. The 550 Spider has undergone a total redesign, with the engine now being placed in front of the transmission. 1975 Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0 The 1975 Porsche 911 Turbo 3.0 was turbocharged and, at the time, was the fastest automobile in Germany. The original Porsche 911 was a customer favorite. 2014 Porsche Macan Turbo The Macan Turbo is an SUV crossover that is not only svelte and fluid, but also incredibly powerful, with a 2014 model's 3.6 liters V6 engine producing 400 horsepower. Other Porsche models Based in Stuttgart and established in 1931, Porsche is a German luxury and sports automobile manufacturer. The brand is most renowned for its potent, responsive sports vehicles, maybe most notably the classic 911. Porsches stand out because they are fun on the road and comfortable and reliable enough for daily driving, even though they are competitive on the racetrack. Porsche only makes six models, yet the selection might be difficult to understand. Formerly associated with actual generations, three-digit model numbers like 911 and 718 now serve as historical references. The new 911 is referred to internally as the 992 model, while the Cayman and Boxster from the 718 are referred to internally and among ardent enthusiasts as the 982. And even though practically every Porsche now has a turbocharged engine, Porsche still offers turbo grades. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that and what Porsche card do you like the most.